Good morning everybody. It is Sunday morning with the angels, your Facebook live where we share our inspirational messages for the week ahead. And it's a beautiful morning. It is Father's Day and I just want to wish all the fathers out there happy Father's Day. All the fathers who really plays a mentoring and a father and a provider role in families today. So we really want to say thank you. Thank you for everything that you contribute to our lives and thank you for all our dads in heaven for what they did for us when they were still with us and please know that if you do have a loved one in heaven today that you can light a candle you can send a prayer you can gently just sit for a while and close your eyes and just have a conversation with your loved one and really you will feel the warmth and the love in your heart as you do so so to all the fathers out there thank you thank you thank you and to all those who really provide for their families maybe stepdads thank you so much maybe mentors and dad coaches thank you so much for everything that you do for your families and your children we honor you today and so it's a wonderful morning to just have a beautiful fun filled family day it's long weekend i'm sure that you are all having fun and sharing the love and laughter or maybe just resting maybe just resting so we are going to share our messages for the week ahead and then we're also going to do as a surprise just a few angel cards for those that are tuned in with us this morning so thank you for being here say hello um and let us know that you are here so i am going to use one um card from this deck and then i'm going to move into the major or um to the whispered guidance deck and then i'm going to use um the angel the archangel deck just for for some fun and laughter and insight and guidance good morning christian maurice welcome good morning fuseni so let us ask for for just inspiration for the week ahead some divine guidance for the week ahead and if you have a, a, a question while you're listening set that intent as we are delivering messages today and it doesn't matter that it's not specifically a card for you but the messages will sure provide you some guidance and some insight and some divine understanding this is absolutely a beautiful beautiful message for the week ahead it represents the moon it's from archangel hanil and the guidance really with this one is to say that there are opportunities around you now to really improve what you are working on good morning cynthia hello teresa you know sometimes if we are too in the middle of something and your and our minds are too occupied with something we cannot see the solution or we battle to discern between what is the left turn what is the next step what is the right turn and it's a good week for you to just become calm just calm the mind down and be more in the present moment because when you're in the present moment that is when you fully experience that moment and you can then discern you can pick up the synchronicities you can listen to in your intuitive thoughts and feelings um of a new idea that might come through or someone to contact so it's a very good week to stay tune to your intuition and to not doubt it um and you know sometimes it also says face your fears and grow stronger don't doubt yourself don't fear risks and new beginnings 
there is always support and guidance available. So that little voice, it would be a good thing to tap in and tune into that little voice in the week ahead because the solution is there. The answers are there. The synchronicities are already lined up for you. You just have to see them. And you know, we see them more. We are not focused on the future in terms of what hasn't happened yet. Or, you know, I can't see the end. I can't, I don't know what the outcome is. Our intuition is also not in the past. Our intuition is here right now in the present moment, walking beside you, that higher self, guiding you, that believes in you, that taps into your higher potential. So really, there is a principle that says, when you are out of your mind, you are into experience. So just move aside the doubts and the fears for a little while and experience your day moment by moment. And it's also always good guidance to move into a practice of meditation. And you don't have to make it a complex process. You don't have to go into resistance with it. But simply take a few minutes, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes to before your day starts to simply sit and breathe. Just slow down, take a few breaths and just connect with that breath. It really just re-energizes you, it calms the mind down and it opens up your spiritual ears and your spiritual eyes and your heart to a place where you can really connect to that guidance within. Yes, so it's a beautiful, beautiful message for our week ahead. So it's maybe good to start on this day, yes, before your day gets busy, move into that place of stillness and tomorrow you do the same and the next day you do the same. Um, and you know what I always say is when you receive an in the moment guidance, make sure to note it somewhere um, or make a quick voice note on your phone so that when you get back to your office or you get back to your home, then you can really act upon that. Isn't it so that very often we receive the guidance or the quick thought, but then we never get to action it. Archangel Hanil can assist you with manifestation, can assist you with deepening your intuition, can assist you with tuning in and tapping into the guidance within. And just look at the beautiful moonlight and just look at the beautiful white light and there's so much guidance around you. Doesn't that just make you feel so supported and loved? Um, and the guidance can be very subtle at times. So move into your intuition, into the divinity of who you are, yes? And now we're moving um, towards the middle of the week and let's see what comes up for us from my deck called Whispered Guidance. And this is really guidance on what aspects of ourselves or what vibration can we tune into and this is a beautiful message about humbleness humbleness is such a noble energy humbleness is such a re respectful energy there's an aspect of ourselves that recognizes who are with us on this journey there's an aspect of ourselves that recognizes and acknowledges those that has been a part of our life, those that has been a part of our successes, yes? When we move into that place of humbleness, it's not that important for us to justify or to get our viewpoint across, but it's more important for us to move with a silent wisdom, knowing within our hearts and have the peace and the divine understanding and the wisdom that all is well, that my intent is pure. 
So really move into that space where where you move more into the heart of the matter and out of the ego, yes? So that you don't have so much pressure um, in terms of wanting to be right or wanting to explain yourself, but rather just move with that silent wisdom. I'm going to read it to you. The heart instilled with humbleness moves with a quiet wisdom. The heart knows healing exists within each and every one of us and that a greater purpose is at work. Humbleness says, the truth shall prevail. Be humble, be content and lead with silent strength. When you are humble, you open up to the gratitude and the blessings as you acknowledge and recognize those that have supported you, guided you and played a part in your success. How beautiful is it to, to move with that vibration of humbleness today. It really connects you to, to your higher self. It connects you to love. It connects you to divinity. It connects you to everything around you that is in truth and that is in love. And I think sometimes what makes the mind um, not sleep, not rest, that makes the mind overanalyze and move in that space of doubt and fear and anxiety is perhaps maybe that need to justify, that need to, to kind of explain, that need to, to be right. And it is not always about that. It is about that wisdom within and the truth within. Christy, wow, amazing that she come out with the full moon today, tomorrow. Yes, that's absolutely perfect. Just look at the light of the moon. And isn't it amazing that when we tune into, into the energy of the moon, it assists us with that, with that divine feminine wisdom within us. And we can really tap into and draw from our intuition. So beautiful celebrations um, all around, isn't it? Of just really who we truly are and remembering that we are so much more and that we are so connected, yes? And then we'll draw another card uh, towards the end of the week from the Archangel deck. So we were guided to move with our intuition, to really become still, follow our intuition, be present in the moment so that we can tap into guidance and to do that with a humble energy. Doesn't it all give you the feeling of really just moving with stillness this week and moving with that present moment awareness and tap into the divinity and wisdom and soul of who you truly are, almost like um, lead with that quiet strength? Because if you do that, then you will hear what the heart says and you won't be so busy in the mind trying to come up with your own solutions. Really, really very strong this week. What I'm receiving for everybody that is tuned in right now is the opportunities. There are opportunities around you. Keep the faith. Ask God to open your eyes, open your ears, open your heart. Be present in the moment so that you can tap into those opportunities so that you can't fear them but are able to see them and then move move with them. Lots of opportunities in the week to come for those that have asked for it, yes, for those that have been seeking. And while, um, while you are seeing, while you are experiencing, while you are hearing the guidance, keep the trust, keep the faith, keep on doing what you're doing. Stay close to your connection with spirit. Stay close to 
the that god within that aspect within that divinity within that knows who you are that is your highest potential that is your strength yes oh and look how amazing it is it's so connected this message is specifically archangel ariel spread your wings it says you are ready to soar how amazing is that do not hold back right now the timing is perfect and you are ready to soar just look at that isn't that amazing and it all really is just because we lead from within with a humble energy, staying close to our truth, being mm. silent and quiet so that we can receive and then really make that connection with your intuitive self. Listen to your intuition and really, really manifest those solutions that is available to you right now. I'm really, really wishing you all a blessed week, yes? Um, really, it's such an amazing week and vibrations for us to tap into um, so that we can fully be and, and fully just acknowledge where we are at the moment. Remember the present moment. So let us do some beautiful soul lights for everybody that is tuned in right now. So let me know if you are still tuned in and then we're going to just share soul light so that you can really shine your soul light um, as well and enjoy the rest of the long weekend knowing um, that you are an amazing amazing abundant powerful child of the universe and that there's so many blessings and miracles available to you so cynthia um welcome back to cape town it would be lovely to see you again you must come and visit so here is a soul light for you yes <laughs> i always love this one I can make heaven out of hell at any time. <laughs> How beautiful it is that we can really bring in the vibrations of peace and love and joy and gratitude, no matter what we are going through, yes? Um, Christy, so let us also ask for a beautiful soul light for you. I have a vision for my life and can make it real. Definitely, definitely, um, Christy, move into that vision of the life that you really want to carve out for yourself, yes? And then Maurice, I am open to the subtle messages all around me. <laughs> How amazing is that? And thank you for those that's just tuned in. Um, if you've missed the beginning of, of this live stream, I really want to encourage it for you to watch it later or to watch it tomorrow at the start of your week and really tune into the, the, the potential um, and the intuitive guidance that you are this week. Yes, thank you so much. And so who is all still watching? Teresa. Let us do one for you. I honor the power within me. I honor, excuse me, the power within me. How beautiful is that? It really just all so resonates with the message of the week that we received. Fuseni, thank you for your message. I embrace pain to show me pleasure. I truly love this one because you know sometimes when we're in pain, whether it's physical pain or emotional pain, if we do not resist it but allow it to become our teacher, we receive such great divine understanding from it, yes? And Karen, morning, would you like a soul light? Karen McDermott. 
I am master of my destiny. <laughs> How beautiful is that? And it so resonates for those that's just tuned in. We've got Archangel Hanil guiding us towards following our intuition. And we've got moving with the spirit of humbleness and Archangel Ariel with spread your wings this week. There are opportunities this week. Tap in. Tune into that soul wisdom and you will see them all around you. Who else did we miss? Jane, good morning, Jane. So here is a soul light for you. Nice to see you with us. I acknowledge the light within me. How beautiful is that? Good morning, Cheryl. So Cheryl Hepburn, and let us also ask for a soul light for you. I deserve everything I desire. Know that you are deserving, Cheryl. How beautiful is that? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you for joining us this morning. Have a beautiful day in the presence of gratitude um, and loved ones and and thank the people in your life who is with you who is supporting you uh, who makes you feel loved and fulfilled um, for those that are still with us and for those that's no longer with us on this plane take a moment close your eyes send love have a conversation and feel the love and warmth and gratitude that a day of celebrating our loved ones bring for us. Have a beautiful day, everybody. And we'll see you again soon on Tuesday evening as we do our live Q&A. Um, but also, I really want to encourage you to stay on the page as we share daily messages. We share inspiration. Um, and we're really just a community that just supports each other. Lots of love, everybody. Bye.